Chairman of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, the authorities have taken the war against drugs to doorsteps of those dealing with illicit drugs. It is in furtherance of the fight that took the operators of the NDLEA to Opanam, outskirts of Asaba, the Delta State capital. According to eyewitnesses, NDLEA operators had stormed the place and were shooting indiscriminately. The father of Ivan Omohia Kobe says his son was shot by the operative's bullet and from which he died. His younger brother, who was also hit by the bullet, is still struggling to stay alive. Hey, I don't know where they are going to. Anywhere they go, I go. Anywhere they go, I go. They have killed my family. It's about 4.30 to 4 to 5. We heard a very sharp noise outside. So we are wondering where is this kind of noise coming from. But we didn't suspect anything. Though we saw some NDLA uh, guys with their patrol. They were patrolling around looking for some guys to capture. Do you understand? So at some point we had a very, we had a very disturbing noise from our neighbor upstairs. So she was shouting for help. So we had to rush outside to know why she's shouting. We went outside and she, she was carrying her two babies with her hand. So she was calling for help and trying to call her husband to come. Though before then, all of them were uh, soaked with blood, both the child and the lady. So the next thing, they rushed all of them to the hospital. I mean, getting to the hospital, they lost the elderly one and the little one is still undergoing some treatment. The children were with their mother, who is a trader in the area. I don't know. My son was standing in front of me. I heard an explosion and before you know it, I saw my son on the floor. Then it seems it is, it is time we are kind of watching that. I quickly held him, you know, put my hands on that particular area. Then I was wondering what, I didn't just know, I was just shouting, what's like, what is this? Where is this from? You see the bullet. I looked around me. I didn't see. I didn't see any penetration. In a statement, NDLEA explains that the shooting occurred after a Toyota Camry suddenly took off at the scene of the raid, knocking down one of its officers. And in a bid to stop the car, its operatives fired at the car. The agency later got a report that a stray bullet had killed a child. NDLA says a team has been constituted to carry out further investigations. The grieving father is calling for justice. Listen to me. So I now brought out my phone. Now snapped. Trying to do a video. Then one guy from the hill just jumped out, crack a gun on me, say, give me that phone. Give me a video. Why are you videoing us? Give me that phone. I said, I will not give you this video. I will not give you this video. That they tell me say they go one and shoot for them. Don't kill person. Immediately I said that. All of them just hit that car. They were moving on. And I was mobile. I have to jump the entire side of my car and start my car. Start following them, doing the video. Start following them, doing the video. Go to the express. Anywhere, if you're in Lagos now, I go and follow Narish. I just want to know where they are coming from. That is just it. There's nothing much. So when I go to Silla Sagba, they now stopped. I now pulled over. I now also stopped. They now came to meet me. Say, ah, oh God, what happened? I said, I was trying to explain to you guys just now. This guy was conking gun and tried uh, try to drag the phone for me. What happened? I said, you, have, you people have killed my son. Then I said, ah, then I'm the cause. You said, Jemima Boloko, Arise News, Delta.